Keith here with another video looking at analysis using R. This time I've loaded up the species file to look at because that's the one we're going to be most interested in because we're going to be doing a cluster analysis of the species data. So again, quick review, first column labels the rows, next three columns are categorical variables indicating control impact sites 1 to 3 reps 1 to 5 and then after that we've got the data in columns 4 across the 53 radio there we go here's the R script so set the library location where it should be load in these packages that will take a little while but oh no fairly quickly then uh, load up the additional functions um, I've already loaded in at the species data but I'll just do it again and if we oh, okay there we go if we look at species that's looking fine we look at the spatial see I've made the Y negative, that's useful for a graph, and if I look at the environmental one, I've made the depths positive. That won't actually do anything here, because I don't use the environmental, but I am going to use the spatial. Okay, let's run these lines. So what am I doing here? First of all, I'm calculating the distance matrix. Remember this is the distance between all pairs of samples and I'm using Bray Curtis distance ring because that is one of the better ones for biological data. And then here I am calculating or computing the cluster analysis and UPGMA stands for unweighted pair group method using averages and I'm not going to explain that any further except to say it's generally the methods that's used for biological data and then lastly display it as a dendrogram so if I look in here the more similar sites are in terms of their species composition the closer to the base of the map they grew so these two samples, CO, sample 1 from site 1 and sample 3 from site 1 are very similar in species composition. If you get samples that are grouping in a quite some distance away, impact 1, sample 2, grouping in right up here, then this sample is quite different in terms of species composition from the others even though two of those are from the same site. So what we see is a big grouping here, which is all the controls, and then a few groupings of impacts, one here and another one here. This is mostly sites 4 and 5. This is a bunch of add-ons, not fitting anywhere else. So I'll go with K equals 5 there. and run that and that and what those two commands do the first one reorders the matrix and that just improves the display a bit and the second one you can see is putting on big boxes cutting the cluster analysis into groups so we've got one big box here which is all the controls and then the impacts are broken out in other boxes uh, this is mostly 4 and 5. This is a mixture of samples from all over the impact locations. This is mostly site 1 and this is that odd one, impact site 1 samples. Okay, let's keep going. Um, now I can change, I'll change the location of that before I put this code up. 
what this is doing now is plotting a map of where the different cluster samples are from. So you can see all the red ones are the controls. And then it, the others, clusters 2 to 5, are mixtures of impacts over here. It's mostly this samples from this particular site. And the other two are mixtures of samples from different sites. So we've got to go very clear story in terms of control versus the other, but a bit more of a muddled story in terms of the different impact locations. This one here is fairly distinct, but the others are mixtures. Okay, the last part of this is this. So here's the heat map. The more red, the more similar, the more yellow, the more dissimilar. So you can see impact site 1 sample 2, that was the odd one, is very red because it's very similar to itself. If I look at the intersection, but if I read across, it's different from all the others. Uh, if I go up here, we've got a big block, which is all the controls being similar to all the other controls and then the remainder, the other impact sites and samples, as we saw, are somewhat variable. Okay, that's the end of this one. In the next, I'll look at ordination.